Holy smokes, Joy Behar has landed herself in very hot water, even going so far as her being forced to apologize for this absolutely insane thing that she said on The View. And you know that your opinions are absolutely terrible when your own co-hosts on The View, which is one of the most dim-witted talk shows of all time, are calling you out for it and absolutely destroying you for it. And that's what ha what is happening to jo Joy Behar right now. So let's get into this whole insanity. The View's Joy Behar her blast sue me after being forced to correct her shocking blunder on live TV. So it all started, it all it has to do with this whole Alec Baldwin thing that's going on right now with Alec Baldwin facing some very serious trouble for what happened on set of the Rust film where he shot the director of photography and you know the whole story. You all know what's going on with all of that. So we're going to get into this and see what Joy Behar has to say here. This is absolutely insane. You know, the, the DA who uh, is, is indicting him or whatever you, uh, the legal term is right now mm -hmm. she, she's a big republican i'm only saying this because alec baldwin is a target for republicans they cannot stand him okay uh, i'm just saying facts, but i'm not saying anything more than that the fact that he was handling the gun <laughs> and let's not also forget what <laughs> And she's going to be met with instant regret as you're going to see here in just a second for what she is saying here because it is Object objectively just completely false, but let's continue on here. What George Clooney had to say when he what do you say? he was on a podcast and he talks about <laughs> what he does when he has a gun in his yeah. How he You mean he actually treats it with with responsibility? <gasps> what a shock. Opens it how he shows that there's not any ammunition in the gun. Right. And Alec Baldwin was actually confronted with that statement and his response in that George Stephanopoulos interview was, "Well, good for him. Good for him." And so I think that there has to there's some blame here. Alex yeah. So as you can see here, what Joy Behar is trying to do is she's trying to make this some sort of political thing when that isn't really the case at all. What you have here is you have someone like Alec Baldwin who it did something that was absolutely terrible, but that's not what Joy Behar is concerned about. She's concerned about the politics. Of course she is because, well, this is Joy Behar. Of course saying that he doesn't have any blame and the investigation so far supports that there's enough evidence to charge him. And it gets even worse for her because, like, the, the co-hosts on The View just completely obliterate her. So negligence alone is the standard that you have to meet. Mm -hmm. And there are incredible processes in place. Guns are used, firearms are used in, in movies every day, and there are processes and steps taken. Mm -hmm. So uh, the prosecutors in this case actually consulted some A-list actors to talk about how they go about handling guns on sets so that something like this doesn't happen. And every one of them said that before they use the firearm, they either don't double check it themselves or have the expert in charge, the armor, show them that it's not loaded. And that then the hilarious thing about all of this is that Joy Behar then had to apologize to everyone for the insane things that she was saying. So let's check that out here. Welcome back. Clarification, something I said last segment, it's the special prosecutor who's now the Republican politician in New Mexico and not the current DA. I get them mixed up sometimes. <laughs> so sue me. So anyway, so this is all just so funny because this continues to happen time and time again with these people on The View. They continue to say things that are just completely ridiculous, and then they get completely obliterated for it. You know that things are bad, like I said, when your own co-hosts on The View are calling you out for your bad takes. So with that being said, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. What do you think about everything that's happening to Joy Behar here? Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.